Rose, Rick Ross. Uh, man, here's how you know somebody lost a beef. You know, because I, when I did the 50 versus Rick Ross, which is, I think, the f- second Who Really Won video, I need to redo that one. I want to do a remastered version, expanded version of that. So same with Meek Mill versus Drake, because those were like the first two episodes ever, and they weren't really structured properly like the way I do them now. Um, I want to redo those in the future. I've been saying that for a while, but, uh, you know, I'm just finding new ideas and stuff, and that kind of just gets lost in the sauce. But this is how you know who lost the beef and the war in this beef of 50 versus Rick Ross. Ross still talks about 50, still throws shots at 50, still trolls with 50. And 50's essentially moved on. I don't remember the last time 50's actually mentioned Rick Ross. I think... um. Maybe in 2021 when he was doing the BMF stuff and they asked him, hey, would you would you be willing to do a deal with Rick Ross about getting the BMF track as a theme song on the show? And Fizzy just said, yeah, if it made business sense, why not? And then Rick Ross like shitted on him. It was like, nah, fuck him, but whatever he said. So Rick Ross is still bitter from that battle for whatever reason um, because he thought he finished 50. Now, you could say music. Here's the thing, too. And here's the thing when people say musically that Rick Ross finished 50 and it was done. 50 finished 50 musically because he was going against his own record label. Here's the thing. When he left his record label, I'm the man. Double platinum off a mixtape. Free mix. This was a free mixtape. No streaming at the time, 2015. They didn't count streaming. There was barely any streaming. Yeah, Spotify was there. Um, and stuff like that, but people weren't really using it heavy now, like now. Drops a free song, free mixtape, goes double platinum off it. No promo, independent. Two million sold. When's the last time Rick Ross has gone double platinum? I'm going to check. I'm actually going to check. So, uh, I'm, I'm getting, okay, I'm getting too much into the beef. Let me first go over the article of what happened. So, Rick Ross threw 50 Cent under the bus after Fat Joe scolds rappers for implicating rivals. So, Fat Joe basically in his own interview clip posted by Hip Hop Wolf, shout out to them, uh, basically said, don't kick somebody down during a beef. You know, don't, you know, if they're already going through like prison problems and stuff, and he's probably, he was actually probably referring to Rick Ross because Rick Ross is clowning DJ Envy, who's going through his own, you know, prison issues that he's probably going to be facing. And Ross is still piling on and clowning on him, you know, which is corny in my opinion, but, uh, you know, uh, you could argue 50 was doing that with Ja Rule, so I don't know, that's a more deep, deeply rooted you know that's like involved with killers shootings and people almost dying so it's a little bit different versus somebody you just clown with online you know so let me play the clip from fat joe and what he said if i got beef with another rapper another dj and that guy's fighting the law where he might be going to jail for 10 years 15 years i don't think it's cool for hip-hop beef to be like yeah go get him he does this he does that that's jail now you think it's hip hop, you think it's fun of games, but R. Kelly's in jail for life. One of the greatest, most famous, most illest entertainers, might be the greatest ever, is in jail for life. I'm not saying what he did or what that, I'm just telling you, you can go to jail. There's no such thing as you're too famous to go to jail. They'll put you in jail. And so I'm talking about everybody, guys. I'm not talking about somebody specific specifically, but if I got rap beef with you, it's not cute for me to so-called try to put your business out there or dirty your face or point allegations to you because I want more ratings or I want to sell more records. And this has just been really happening lately in an amazing way where guys that I respect and I love are seeing other artists or people in vulnerable positions and are acting like it's hip hop beef. Yeah, he did this. Yeah, he did that. No, he might go to jail for 10 years and not be able to feed his family. And what is it to you that that man goes to jail? This is real life shit. I agree. I completely agree. I think um, if if it's not deeply rooted beef or, you know, you guys just have beef with each other relating to like shootings, like I said, with 50 and Ja. You know, if somebody's already down, they're facing jail, they're facing... Just leave it alone, man. Move on. You guys had your differences. You know, because prison is a whole different story. Uh, it affects people's lives a lot worse than, you know, pretty much anything else. So, after this, you know, this video was posted, Rick Ross commented under the video and said, Oh, this the 50 Cent Tupac Diddy shit at Fat Joe, I concur. 
which Diddy situation is not the same thing. What what Fifty's doing with the Diddy situation? Diddy first off is a billionaire, damn near a billionaire. So even if he got locked up for the for the uh, you know uh, shooting of Tupac, if he ever did, his family's good. Unless he's just stupid and blew all his money. So that's the number one thing. Second, this was already a story that was out there. You know, like it's not like Fifty, um, you know, revealed to the world that. Did he had a role in killing Tupac or allegedly had a role in killing Tupac? You know, it's something that's been out there in fifties always poked fun at Diddy. So I can I can see where Rick Ross is coming from from that, saying, Oh, he's kicking a person while he's down. When really Diddy's not down. There's nothing happening. Police haven't gone to him. There's no there's no official arrest. There's no official nothing. Diddy is a free walking man. Police haven't said a word, haven't seized his house, have done nothing to that. Now, relating to the DJ Envy situation, yes, police have been involved. Governments are being involved. A whole different scenario. It's escalated versus rumors. The Diddy thing is rumors. Here said, she said, this, that. There's no clear-cut evidence yet. DJ Envy, there's a lot of evidence. So after Rick Ross commented that, throwing 50 under the bus, somebody respond in the comments saying, no, nah, he's talking about you, gang. Like, no, he's talking about you, Rick Ross. You're the one that's kicking down DJ Envy. You know, because you guys, you guys had a back and forth, which was just petty shit, really. It wasn't anything serious. And then Rick Ross is clowning for that. Anyways, out of all this, I went back to what I was saying in the beginning before I was talking about this article. Uh, 50 won this war when it comes to Rick Ross. Maybe in the battle it might seem like Rick Ross won because he got hot. But at the end of the day... Rick Ross struggles to get platinum songs, struggles to get platinum albums. What 50's done in his career, why, look at that. I'm the man went double platinum. Double, this is a free mixtape song, double platinum. Back to where I was going, let's see when's the last time Rick Ross got a double, triple platinum song. When's the last time he got RIA certified? I'm just curious. And I'm not going to count the features he's done with Drake because Drake saved his fucking ass 90 million times. I'm talking Rick Ross led songs. Last time you got a platinum song that was him as a lead artist was Gold Roses that went platinum in November of 2021. Platinum. That's it. Not double platinum. Let's see which one's double platinum or triple or so triple platinum. Last time you got a triple platinum song was Aston Martin Music. That was in August of 2021. Blowing money fast. BMF. This is this is the track that people were saying. 50 was losing, Rick Ross got hot, all of a sudden he's the biggest. This song went platinum, platinum only in 2021. So we're talking 50 Cent's I'm the Man, a track that was released free with no promo, nothing, off independent just G-Unit Records, just randomly released, went double platinum. And you guys are talking about BMF when Ross got hot. Oh, BMF, he's the hottest, 50 got washed, destroyed. Look at this. This is the numbers. This is what I'm talking about. Rick Ross has never, never really done numbers like that. If you look at his update, so he basically got his stuff updated in 2021. That was like the most recent. Um, everything is in 2021. Look at this. Uh, hustling, hustling, which is Ross is arguably one of his biggest songs. Two times platinum only. 2021. Two times platinum. Like you guys would, like 50s level compared to Ross is so far. Like, Rick Ross comes nowhere near 50s level when it comes to certific anything in sales, anything in global dominance. Just 50 washes him. The fact that there was even a conversation in this is ridiculous. And by the way, Rick Ross got helped by so many at the time. Think about how many features he's done with Drake, how many features he's done with DJ Khaled, how many features with Lil Wayne, how many features with everybody that's hot at the moment. 50 was doing this shit essentially by himself. All the songs that are big in the club by himself, many men by himself. 21 Questions had Nate Dogg, which helped, of course, but most part solo by himself. Window Shopper by himself. Uh, Candy Shop. Olivia, his own artist. Who, like, Olivia wasn't the one that made the record hot, but you can count that as a feature, whatever. Just a little bit by himself. Out of Control by himself. Like, a lot of these tracks are huge global hits by himself. I Get Money by himself. Like, uh, so anyways, the whole, like, yeah, this whole, this just shows you that Rick Ross is still bitter about the 50 cent battle. Still bitter that fifties loved across the globe. His tour got nominated by BT for one of the best tours of this year. So we'll see if he wins that. It's against like Drake 50 and uh, I think Snoop Dogg or something like that. Um, we'll see if he wins that, but 
global recognition, love around the world with the final lap tour. Still can sell. If he if fifty just I'm telling you right now, we talked about fifty dropping an album last year. I mean last episode of the podcast. If fifty just decided, hey, let me take six months to a year out of my career. Let me just focus on an album. And just focus and put hundred percent attention to that. Forget the TV shows. Just focus on the album. That album would be huge. I'm telling you right now, 50 would do platinum, double platinum easily. It's not even a question. You guys are questioning a guy that went diamond, at least in America, went nine times platinum, that in America on his second album went six times platinum, that in America on his third album went three times platinum. You know, it's like he's done these numbers. He just hasn't focused in. And if he signed, like, let's say, a deal with Def Jam or just a record label deal, one album deal, just to put it out, he would do numbers. Anyways, I'm saying all this to say, I this is further proof to me that, you know, because people were arguing with me about the 50 Cent versus Rick Ross, who really won video. Oh, look, Ross blew up, MMG, all this, all this. Man, look, man, 50 got what? Like, this just shows in the long term that 50, even musically, is still a better performing person without even trying, without putting no promo behind a song, went double platinum. And people are going to say, well, that was a long time ago, Quake. What if he drops right now? Well, that's the last project that 50 dropped was in 2015 with Canaan Tape. That was a free mixtape. That was the last time he dropped something. So maybe if he dropped a new project, then we'd be able to gauge it better. But, hey, that was the last time he dropped when Double Platinum. So I'm just saying, I think, you know, Rick Ross has dropped albums fairly, you know, like what? Let me see what albums have gone actually platinum with this guy's because this guy's struggled on albums going platinum. Look at this. Port of Miami. This is his debut album. And th- this went platinum in 2016. He dropped the album in 2006. It took a whole 10 years for this guy to sell 1 million units. 10 fucking years. This is sell 1 million. And this there and there's a comparison to 50 all of a sudden. 50 did a million literally in a week. That's how hilarious this is. One week. What took got what 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 took this what took 50 one week? Actually, he did it in like four days, actually. So it took 54 days, took Rick Ross 10 years, and yet there is somehow even comparison. Makes no sense to me. Now, I know what people are going to be like, oh, but Rick Ross can rap, makes great music. Okay, we're not, I'm not talking about the rapping ability. I'm not talking about the quality of the music because Rick Ross makes great music. Is it better than 50s? In my opinion, fuck no, but he makes great music. That's not the debate here. The debate here is popularity, dominance, presence big how big is he as a person and the reality is rick ross is nowhere near um that was the last time he actually has an album on here i don't see any other album all i see is singles that went platinum and double platinum and that's some art music that went three times platinum thank god for drake because drake saved that motherfucker and then the person who was on the hook she killed it too aston martin music anyways drake look money in the grave featuring rick ross that song just recently went six times platinum that's because of drake that's got nothing to do with rick ross kanye west devil in a new dress june 2023 went double platinum featuring rick ross dj Khaled, god did which cal is really quiet on a lot of the issues that's going on in today's world which i'm very disappointed in it but he went gold so all these, all these recent plaques and shit is from features he's done. Because this motherfucker would not be having any times. Look at this. French Montana went more platinum than Rick Ross. Or two times platinum. Went, pop that, pop that, don't stop. That was in May 2020. Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's any albums, bro. That's all he's got is one platinum album? Rick Ross only got one platinum album? One million only sold one time in his career? Come on, man. Look at this. Trilla. Gold. God forgives I don't, which is actually a great album. Gold. Not even platinum. Teflon Don. This is the album that, that everybody said, oh, he killed 50's career. This is the album that came out that he got hot. Gold. Come on, man. I don't even have to. Man, I ain't even got to talk about this, man. But anyways, you see how passionate I get about this because it's just bullshit. People got this revisionist history. And today's time just proves 50's torn, like dudes selling out globally everywhere. People are saying, oh, he can't sell out shows in America. Nobody fucks with them in America. Look what he did in America. Sold out shows left and right. Made, what was the amount, like fucking $4 million in two nights in New York? Like, yeah. Anyways, I'm not even going to get into that. Rick Ross just shows that Rick Ross lost his battle because he constantly has 50 Cent's name in his mouth. He has Lloyd Banks' name in his mouth. I'm sure he's even mentioned Yayo. He's just bitter, salty. Yeah, just correctional officer. That's what he is. 
But yeah, we'll keep our eye on this. I'm sure 50's not going to respond at all. I would hope he doesn't because, you know, just corny at the time. 